I heard you're in need of my particular set of skills. Something like that. There's a high band EM cloak signal popping up all over London. It's more powerful than anything on the open market right now, which means it's worth a lot to the right people. We need you to track it down. That's all? Easy. Well, maybe. The thing's bouncing around between half a dozen different locations and I can't get a beat on it. If I had to guess, I'd say it's some kind of cloaked vehicle. Uh, hold up. Did you say ghost car? No one said ghost car. Sweet! I'll do it. No further info required or wanted. Well, looks like the three of you got a lot done together. Color me impressed. Truly, I am a miracle worker. If you lot are sticking around for a bit, I could use a hand down the road. One of my contacts managed to find a dead sick member who survived the London attacks. She's been hiding out in the north this whole time. We need to set up a communication link with her. No problem, Connie. We got this. Great. Once I've gathered all the details, I'll be in touch. Okay, let's say it all together now. Go team! Aiden, come on, man. Get us, get us in with me. Come on. Go, go, go team! I don't see the car. Wait, is that good or bad? You're definitely near a cloaking field. Look for a kind of shimmering, blurry space. Like when you get a migraine. Oh, I've never had one of those. Really? Try talking to you sometime. Found the ghost car. Except it doesn't have wheels, doors, a back seat, or an engine. Huh. Must be made out of the same material as the car. An early prototype, maybe? Or another tormented spirit haunting the streets of London. Ooh. The only one being tormented here is me. Get to the next location. The ghost hunters of London are on the scene. Legend is, a car was brutally murdered here, 20 years ago to the day. That's the lore? It's the ghost of a car? Spirit, if you can hear me, rev your engine! Well-adjusted, genetically diverse mutt. Good luck out there. Huh. It's a lot closer to the EM field we're looking for. But the shape is... off. Oh, come on, you can say it, Jordy. It's a ghost toilet. It's another prototype is what it is. Makes sense, this is experimental tech after all. Hey, would you mind muting me for a sec? I need to void my ghost bladder. So when you say experimental tech, who exactly has been doing the experimenting? You don't need to know, and I don't want to tell you. Oh, come on, man. It could help me find the ghost car. Oh, yeah? The Ouija board's not doing it for you? Chasing the car. Christ. Eyes on the road, wrench. It's getting away. Get back here, you greased up little hog. I'm in range. Trying to disable the auto drive now. Gotcha. All right, get in the car before it drives off again. I'm in. Does my voice sound invisible right now? You know what? I know you want me to ask you what invisible sounds like, and I'm not gonna fucking do it. Radio when you're at the drop point. Okay, well, can I just say, I love this feisty will they, won't they dynamic we have going on. It's just the... Hello? Jordy?
Jordy. Jordy. Jordy, 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 Jordy. What? What? I was just wondering what you're gonna do with the ghost car. Oh my God. None of your goddamn business. Okay, because I've got a really weird idea. Oh, and if you're wondering if it's a sex thing, no, Jordy, okay? Way weirder. I'm literally this close to putting out a hit on you. We solved the mystery of the ghost car. And we did it together. Sure. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to spend the rest of the day firing an assault rifle and screaming. Hey there, Plunger. Ready for some more action? It's Wrench. Gesundheit. So, how'd you like to help the Fixers turn Rempart's robot army against itself? Color me intrigued. What are we gonna do with those rascally robots? Not robots, plural. Just one. Our clients have been itching to take one of those babies apart, find out how backdoor friendly they are, maybe eventually turn the entire fleet against Rempart. You know, the usual Saturday night shenanigans. So you're talking about a robo-heist. <laughs> now that I can get behind. Good. My contacts have found a Mark I robot being housed at the Albion Defense Facility. An older model, but good enough for our purposes. And the place is ripe for infiltration. <laughs> Their routers still use the admin username. Well, it has been a while since I've done any tinkering. Let's robo-heist. So this is where our lucky killer Cylon is being housed. I guess these suckers are everywhere now. Let's do this. The bot is connected to an access point on a nearby roof. I hope you didn't leave your toys at home, big boy. Drone job. Got it. You know, we never actually discussed any plan or strategy or anything for this. Just saying. Just connect to the bot, deliver to the pickup location I'll send you. I'll supply the getaway drone. Don't let me down now. 05-09-01. Remote operator detected. Manual override engaged. Shh! Don't blow my cover, dog! If anyone asks, you're just an ordinary robot going about your ordinary robot business. And if that doesn't work, then we'll figure it out together. By your command. Wait, wait, wait. So you look like a new Cylon? And you talk like an old Cylon? <laughs> Jackpot! the suspect.
Operator status verification requested. Dude, I said don't blow my cover. If anyone finds out you've been hacked, it's no more robo heist. Just lie and say you're bugging out. You can lie, can't you? Not by your command. What? Oh, oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> Good girl. I mean, uh, I'm assuming you're a girl. Whatever. Gender's a construct anyway. I am an ordinary robot. I am going about my ordinary business. Man, I can't wait to introduce you to Rex Jr. Name not recognized. Please restate. What, Rex Jr.? Oh, now nah, he's cool. And I'm sure he'd love to have a little sister. Oh, uh, wait, I'm handing you over to, to the fixers to be dismantled. By your command. Yeah, by my command. Disregard my actions. I am an ordinary robot. Hey, screwdriver, how's the robot handling? Oh, she's fine. She? And then? What? Can I help you with something? I'm a little busy here. Easy, Tiger. Getaway drone's on its way. From there, you'll deliver the robot to the fixers. They're standing by to get their new test subject. Show yourself. Move along. Nothing to see here. Bugging out. This is a bug. Okay, Jordy. I'm here. Yep, I can see you. Just get the robot under the drone and I'll pick it up. I am bugging out. This is a bug. Rest mode activated. Good girl. Anyone tries to shoot down that drone, I'll shoot him down first. By your command. Don't get too attached, Crowbar. I got fixers at the drop-off site waiting to take this thing apart. Yeah, about that. Uh, I think I'm just gonna take the robot to the safe house and keep her for myself. Cool, cool, cool. You're stealing the robot? Are you fucking kidding me? I know, but here's the thing, okay? I can't stand by and let her be dissected like a frog in biology class. I can't let that happen to Wrench Alina. Wrench Alina. Oh, shut up. I'm still working on her name. Control. Man, Albion are not letting up. They must be pissed. You think they're pissed? The Fixers won't hesitate to kill you for breaking their contract, and then they're gonna be pissed at me because I'm gonna kill you first. Can we put a pin in that? I'm trying to save Rachel. I think I prefer Rachelina. Still there? Oh, yeah, I'm still here. Just thinking about which orifice to stab you in first. Okay, look, I can get you and the fixers the data you need without hurting Francesca. She and I have spent a lot of time together. I know how she works. By your command. See? You let me adopt her as one of my own, I get you the data you want, and we all walk away with our orifices untouched. Deal? I'll call you back. Wrench, my fixer contact has accepted your proposal. Get us the data we're after, and you can keep Wrenchalina or whatever you're calling that fucking thing. Thanks, Jordy. You're a real mensch. And as a token of my gratitude, I have decided on the name for this little lady. No. In honor of you, Jordy Chin, I hereby name this robot Little Jordy. You know, I really don't like you.
Hey there, little Jordy. Wrench Jr. You showing your baby sister around? Yeah? Getting along? No fights? <laughs> okay. Atta boy. Daddy loves you both. Wrench, have you heard of this annual London hackathon? Wait, 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 wait. Do you mean the ultimate extreme mega insanity elite hackathon powered by Space Bowl Power Drink? Uh, yeah, I've heard of it. Well, this year, some guy sponsored by Rempart is participating. And if big, rich tech guy wins, some of the best hackers won't want to sign up next year. Rampart? I guess Rads must have taken over the sponsorship. And I'd bet anything they're cheating and giving this racer unauthorized gear. Yeah, probably. There's no hard evidence, though. Shit. Well, either way, this should be an easy clap. Glad you're on board. Why don't you head over? No, this isn't right. Man, I was almost expecting a crowd. Running through a race course alone doesn't have the same hype. Imagine the chaos if the contestants ran the course together. I don't think Space Bull Power Drink wants people dying on their watch. Right. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get that dub. Let's go! Nice one. I've got to be the best pirate you've ever seen. So it would seem. Almost there. Stay sharp. You still have two more courses. So, I heard you're trying to beat my time. Well, I can promise you won't win with your shoddy tech. Actually, I will win with my tech. And unlike you, you little corporate sellout, I don't need to cheat. Uh, Wrench, isn't that car-stopping hack kind of like cheating? What? <laughs> no. I <laughs> Shut up, Jordy. Oh, Albion is so mad. Oh, no. You need to pick up the pace. I know, I know. I hope you're ready for this drone course. It won't be easy. Well, Rads isn't the only one with tricks up their sleeves. And away we go! You'll never beat me in this drone race. My time was flawless. Good fucking luck, nerd. Thanks, but I don't need your luck. You don't need luck, but you needed to overclock your drone. That seems a lot like cheating, Wrench. Shut up, Jordy! And anyway, this fucker cheated, so doesn't that make this more fair? This is the home stretch. Keep it up. Don't fail me now, little drone. There it is. That's the finish line. 
You can make it. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Looks like someone's gonna get in trouble with Daddy Rads. Oh, shitting hell. Nice one, man. Another contract fulfilled. Fuck yes. And it was an easy one, too. Was it easy? You had to cheat to win. Yes, it was easy. And anyway, it was just some minor rule bending. I had no choice, okay? <laughs> well, now your name will be in the ultimate extreme mega insanity elite hackathon hall of fame. Congratulations. Yes. Free space bull power drinks for life. Ratchet, here's the job. It's wrench, wrench. You're doing this on purpose to antagonize me. Wait a minute. Are you flirting with me, Jordy? Gonna ignore that. Job is simple, so even you'll find it hard to screw up. Client wants you to steal a car. I'm sending you the coordinates. Ew. Pass. That's boring. Sorry, Mike Wrench, but the client specifically asked for you. And, oh yeah, they, uh... They're gonna tag along on the job, too. What? Uh, I'm not some glorified babysitter. Uh, they paid a ludicrous amount of crypto to ensure that today you are, so get to it. Wait, who's asking for me? Is it a trap? Jordy? Jordy! I see you've accepted the mission. Excellent. Step one is underway. Um, for the record, I'm an unwilling participant in whatever deep throat fantasy you're acting out here, dude. Deep what? That's gross, man. No, it, it's an X-Files thing. I... You're gross. Whatever you say. The car I want you to steal should be nearby. Who the fuck are you? And why are you using a voice modulator? Ask the guy who's also using a voice modulator. Get the car, and maybe you'll find out. God, it's making my eyes bleed. I love it. Wait a minute. That music? This car? Are you? Oh my god. Don't tell me. You can't be! You know it, baby. It's the epic wrench and Marcus crossover the people have been asking for. Marcus? Marcus! Ah, oh, shit. That's almost better than what I thought. Wait, who the fuck did you think I was? I won't lie, I was kind of hoping you were Jimmy Siska. <laughs> no, but I do have a surprise planned for you in that vein. This car is the car Jimmy Siska drives in the upcoming Devin Von Devin movie. Devin v. Devin. London Cully. Oh my god! Is Jimmy Siska gonna jump out of the truck? No, Reggie, you're killing me here. Drop me these coordinates and I'll fill you in. Alright, so first off, you going AWOL without a word to your boy was rude. You're gonna apologize to me later for making me worry about your stupid ass. Yes, Mom. Now, tell me what my surprise is. Please, please, please! So remember when that teaser for Devin v. Devin London Culling dropped? Finally, Devin Von Devin was gonna return to our screens! Facing off against his evil British clone, Devin Van Devin, in an epic showdown of Devins. Yeah, but after the London bombings, filming got shut down and they couldn't finish the movie. Yeah, they were missing a few big stunts. But the car and all the sets are still here. Oh my god! You don't mean... It's up to us. We're gonna film those stunts and finish the movie. Fuck yeah, we are! In a world in need of a hero... One man stands in the way of humanity's destruction. Jimmy Siska returns as Devin Vaughn. Devin. I am back, baby. 
In his directorial debut, Siska brings Devin Von Devin to the merry streets of England, where he faces off against his greatest adversary yet. I think you're seeing double. His clone, secretly grown from his DNA by the sinister spy agency Elite Shadow Force. Devin Van Devin. How can I defeat myself? Huh. The epic showdown is coming soon in Devon, the Devon, London Culling. Oh, shit. That sounds so good. I am at half mast. what we're about to do here i see a ramp i see a car and if the answer isn't we're gonna jump a car i'm never speaking to you again hell yeah we're gonna jump a fucking car yippee ki yeah motherfucker yeah i got a nice angle on that too that, uh, that, that, that car's not insanely expensive or anything, right? I'm sure it'll buff out. We've got some more shots to do. Let's roll. Ranch and his BFF Marcus Going to blow stuff up, yeah, yeah Going to cyber to driver Gonna be friends with Jimmy Siska Okay, it's Ranch again, huh? So how did you know I was in London? Just because you stopped talking to everybody doesn't mean I didn't keep tabs on you After you split with He who must not be named And can fall down a well Yeah, touchy subject, I know I won't put you on blast for it, just are you all right? What are you doing here? I had unfinished business with Rampart. Remember that asshole? But right now, I'm gonna blow some stuff up and live out my Devin Von Devin fanfiction and it's gonna be so epic. Hey, he's back. Let's light it up. Okay, this is the part of the movie where Devin clashes with Devin in their first big action set piece. A showdown of epic proportions. I can do a bigger boom. Let me have fireworks, please. Hey, you gotta run through and arm all the explosives that are set up. You need to be fast, though. If you take too long, they'll automatically disarm as a safety precaution. Speed run! I got it! Marcus, hit it! Oh, that 
I'm so beautiful. I just came a little. Every time I think I'm used to you. Okay, I want star wipes on this, Marcus. We're making art here. Coming soon in the next chapter of the Devon Von Devon Saga. You're not the man I thought you were, Devon. That's because it wasn't me. It was Devon, my evil clone. He hasn't been using my fingerprints to fool the scanner. He has my fingerprints. He is me. Face it, Devon. You're being replaced by a superior version. I don't think so. Nothing beats American made. Hey man, do you think there's a chance that Devon v. Devon, London Culling, could end with Devon Von Devon losing? What? No way. There is literally nothing that can take Devon Von Devon down. Except for himself? Huh? Why else did they clone him? Who wins in a death match between Jimmy Siska and Jimmy Siska? It's, it's an impossible riddle. But his clone is not the same as him. It's not actually Devin versus himself. It's like Alien versus Predator. You know who's going to win. Oh, fuck, not this again. The Xenomorph has acid blood, Marcus. It melts through the Predator's armor. Nah, fuck you. The Predator has a stealth cloak and thermal vision and fucking rocket launchers. The Predator is the greatest hunter in the galaxy. The Xenomorph is just big game. I am turning this car around, young man. Oh shit! Where'd the knockoff Cylons come from? They're Rampart bots. Man, how do I get this guy off my ass? Well, they look angry at all. Hey, let's get out of here. Maybe we can find a different place to set up. No way. I'm not letting Rampart take Devin Von Devin away from me too. The show must go on. Target damaged. Route. Connect to the target. Overheating. I came here to kick ass and eat tacos. And I'm all out of tacos. You want me to order you some? Drone will get here in just a few minutes. Marcus, you're ruining my moment. Extreme internal temperature. You're melting! You're melting! <laughs> Woohoo! That's the money shot! Oh, I guess there are robots at Devin v. Devin now. Hell yeah, dude. This is like a punch-up to the script. Maybe we'll get writing credits for improving the third act. <laughs> you know, I can see us looking fresh as hell on the red carpet premiere. 